been awake since one plus I think <laughs> it is now three o'clock on a Saturday I have absolutely nothing to do sit down and talk to myself for a bit and I figured what better way since I'm almost vlogging um, I've been thinking a lot lately definitely for sure um, about so many things like first off I cannot believe I'm taking two months off work um, because work is my life everybody knows me as a workaholic I love working I love my job I love my people my team my team lead I love everybody there I love teaching Pilates but so far I think burnout is real and I never thought that I would burn out because usually you know people always say oh it'll creep up on you and blah 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 but I never felt it and then bam here it is and I'm exhausted I'm not sure if it's the meds because the doctor said it could be more than the meds it's the rest that my body needs but um I don't know, I sleep for 11-12 hours a day um, Last night I went to bed at one thirty, and I woke up around one thirty today um, But I only got out of bed around 4.30 um, And it's quite dangerous I think to let myself slip into a cycle like Oh I'm so tired because the meds are making me tired and then essentially I just almost give up on myself so there's like a really fine line between rest and um, yeah between I cannot remember what was that yeah I, I, just, I just feel like everybody's asking me to rest, rest, rest but it is so easy to rest to the point where I get lazy um, and how I define that for myself is um, whether I'm getting up to move or not um, just basic things like feeding my sourdough so the whole point of the whole the whole the whole point of this sourdough thing is because I know I'm I, I'm the kind of person I'll just lay lays in bed all day and if I don't have something to motivate me to get up I will just lose myself in it and the sourdough thing is just an excuse to for me to wake up and be committed do something get out of it feed them though you know um anyway i digress um yeah so everybody's asking me to rest and i am no longer exercising which i don't know if that's good or not i feel like my body needs some form of movement and i do really appreciate movement i am very grateful for movement because there was a period of my life where i every everything I do it hurts me so much and now that I'm a little bit stronger I'm very grateful for it so I stop spin I stop yoga I stop gymming um, I am not even walking around much now unless I'm going out to meet my friends um, that is quite sad for me and the fact that I'm not teaching Pilates anymore further reduces like my need for movement um, and practice because you know I'm no longer there um and it's very scary what if i have a lot of what ifs what if i become a very lazy person what if i'm just i feel like i'm not taking this rest 100 percent um I spoke, I spoke to people about it then they were like no you should just let yourself rest and um just chill let your body Give your body what it needs, listen to your body and stuff like that. And my body is telling me to do so many things because I'm so wired to do so many things. I essentially am in this mode for so long, I don't know how to rest and that's why I have meds. Um, yeah, but every day I wake up, I'm like, shit, should I be making use of my time? Two months will fly by quickly. The heck, it's like the first week gone already. I only have like seven weeks left and i want to do so many things even though i'm not supposed to do so many things but i want to do so many things like i want to go to the beach 
I want to read my book. I want to do more journaling. I want to do my home homework. I want to learn about wine. Um, I want to maybe start meditate meditating. I want to do more pottery. Um, uh, I want to make pasta. I want to grow my damn plants, which is not blossoming. I mean, my masake though. Um, like, and I want to complete this vlog. I want to meet people. I I, I want to go for picnics. I want to bring myself on dates. I want to do some shopping. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh my god. Am I am I hearing myself? Do, like right now, do I hear myself? Like when can I rest if I want to do so many things? So I had to dial back and think what is the purpose of this two months? You know, like, and I'm still thinking about it. Is this two months just purely for rest, um, or is it? Also, time for me to do to finally do the things I want because so far I've only been working and so far I've only been showing up for other people. Okay, other than like earning money for myself, but I, a lot of the things that I've done, I felt like I was supposed to do it. It people who know me may not understand this, but um, I always felt like I was supposed to show up in a certain way. And this morning when I woke up, I watched. Class video and she's back and I'm very happy that she's back, and she said something along the lines of um, showing up for herself because um, there are no rules for her anymore and essentially she has broken down all expectations maybe not all like a lot of the expectations that she's been putting on herself all these false rules um over the past five years that she's been healing and i feel like shit that's what i want um that's what i'm trying to look for like why am i here who am i showing up for it's me myself and i and i can do things however i want without anybody Telling me no, to tell me well, I can't try this, I can't do that, I can't rest, I can't slow down. Like it's insane, and I think of Claire and I think of Jasmine, Jasmine who says she wants to be in her new kind girl era. I feel like these are like all the signs that are showing me, you know, I am. If they can do it, I can do it. I okay. I always live with this stupid mindset. If they can, why I cannot? Which actually caused my burnout also. Um, but anyway, um, so Jasmine was all like saying, um, she was in a very angry, upset because she broke up with a whatever her boyfriend from the past, and then now she's in a better place and she wants. She's more confident. She's more secure and. She wants to portray herself on online in a different way, and I appreciate that so much because she's trying to show, she's breaking down her old self and coming out. Like I don't know, she's like evolving lah. Essentially, everybody's evolving, and I don't know why it took me so long, so so freaking long for me to evolve. For the longest time, I've been telling myself. Oh my god, I wanna die, I wanna die, I wanna die. But then, you know, people always ask me, or people always say, or I always read those quotes like, "Do you actually wanna die, or do you just want your past self to die? Like, what, what, what is it that you want?" And um, I think it's quite clear that I've been living under expectations for a long time. Okay, no, I've been living in my own. Self expectations. Um, I've been living under my own self expectations for a long time, um, and none of my family members know how or what I was going through, and that was like the biggest hurdle as to me so called evolving. Because if there's a change, they'll be like, "Who's this?" And my friends know me. Um, okay, maybe not my friends know me. I talk to my friends, so my friends are always um, step by step with me, or maybe they do catch up. But I feel like with family, they have lost so much of me that oh, they have lost so much of me to a point where if I, 
I changed they'd be like what is this who is this new girl which essentially happened with the whole gym exercise thing that was me trying to evolve to be a better person and they for the life of them could not understand it um but now I'm very glad that um my parents know who I am in I was in a great deal of pressure like trying to be the best doctor but and I'm very glad that they are finally that they finally understand okay what um I'm very glad that they finally understand that the golden child is not so golden and even though I am independent even though I can do whatever I think I can do doesn't mean that I wouldn't like some support from my parents but I don't blame them because I barely ever talk to them also because there's always that gap since so long ago I think they've lost touch I've lost touch with them as well so these two months I can see my oh no not these two months this week I can see my parents showing up for me bringing me to the doctors force feeding me food Asian parents lah I guess um, and they were just counselling going, counselling me all over and then they went to get some like prayer stuff for me um, as you've seen in the video and I don't know what else they've done and I know they are very 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 worried um, so I'm trying to do my best again to just pick myself back up I guess and there was just so much pressure to keep up that image but I'm so glad that um, this episode happened hmm I don't want to take this for granted and this I don't mean like the two month break but more like the opportunity for a fresh new start because I don't think a lot of people get that so many people still get stuck in their old ways and so I don't want to let the mess or any labels <laughs> hold me back I'm trying to get back into a routine and find a routine that works for me to go back into exercising meeting my friends yeah anyway I wasn't supposed to cry and I cannot believe I will post this online because after all YouTube is my video journal after all I have never been able to sit down and type things out because my brain is always moving faster than my hands um and yeah I guess vlogging has always been it for me since young and I like to talk to myself I don't know why I love talking to myself it's been like what 10 minutes and I'm still talking to myself so I have nothing better to do I think I'm just gonna drink coffee Do some Journaling, homework Read a book And then research about some Wine Maybe mm, Don't know Mommy cooked this and I'm still 
kitchen. Well, 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 guess who's out of the house and going to do some lightweight exercise? Me. I've been to this gym so many times, but I only saw the full ass mirror the first time today. Gym for like 70 minutes according to my watch. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I did everything like a bit of legs, a bit of shoulders, back, biceps, triceps, just a bit of everything. Okay, I'm at a red light. It explains the red face. Oh my god, it's such a nice night to drive. Most nights, or most of the time I drive without aircon, so I just pull down this, um, roll the windows down a bit, and then I go. Okay, bye bye. No personal space. Alright. Alright. I have a pervert. <laughs> Excuse me. Um you know what? I feel thank you very much. I'm trying this because I had to throw out all my old protein because it's spoiled. from mothers. Mm -hmm.